You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. It's something you know on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Violet Memoir, Lucas's Path. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that we've got our Patreon up for as low as five dollars. Y'all can help support the channel and get permanent access to our community Discord server and access to our upcoming Not Safe for Work videos that you will only find on the Patreon and the Discord server. Anyway, y'all, let's jump right back in. Alarm chain, you were up, and let's go. And I'm being a little quieter because my partner's sleeping behind me, so. Where am I? Okay. Alright, already in there. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> I already knew Aura would make me put stuff like that on. He's been like a shark in the water if he got me to wear his shirt earlier. Maybe I should let him point something out for me. Speaking of which, my phone rings with a text from him. He's ready and waiting for us at the store, but to make sure we finished all our food first. They won't let us in if we have any on us. Well, what does he think we are? Children? Of course, we're not taking food into a clothing store. I don't want to be banned somewhere before I even buy something. Lucas is shamelessly looking across the table at my phone, which I haven't exactly been hiding as it lays flat on the table. And not that I mind, I don't have any secrets in there. None that he'd understand anyway. Guess we should hurry up and finish our drinks then? We can just drink them on the way. There's a trash can near the store. He gets up and I make sure not to trip as I scramble after him. This guy. Whenever he has his mind set on something, he just goes and does it with no hesitation. Even if it gets even if he regrets it later. Last night solidified that fact. The mall is getting even more filled up than before. There are at least ten people in each direction. I've never seen somewhere so packed before. I can feel Lucas's fur against my arm as he gets closer to me. His slumped head and his drooping ears make his make his discomfort blatant. Wanting him to feel secure as possible, I press my arm against his own. He lets out a little yip in surprise before giving me a glare. It's hard to take seriously with how red his face looks, but I can tell from his very active tail that he's not in a bad mood. I can feel it rubbing against my leg. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> Cuties. Oh god. To call the large pile of clothes tossed over Aura's arm and Tim Intimidating would be an understatement. I'm certain he's holding more than my entire collection. The absolute rainbow of color scattered throughout the pile has me both worried and curious. Who knows what that Martin has in mind? Well, I bet Lucas knows. Maybe Lee, too. Wait, am I the only one in the dark? We got a lot of stuff to try on, so I hope you guys are ready for our own little fashion show. Is the store even okay with you carrying that much? You look like some thief trying to hoard as much as he can. I already talked to them when I asked where the changing rooms were. They said we were fine with it as long as we used the changing room near the back and didn't disturb the guests. Is that why we're in the shoe section? Yep. Normally people just sit at one of the benches to try them on, so these stalls are barely ever used unless the place is backed up. So we got these bad boys all to ourselves. Aren't we lucky? It's obvious he's reveling in the shared anticipation between Lucas and me. He looks positively glowing with excitement and it's hard to be annoyed by it. Even Lucas looks to be trying to keep his face as grumpy as possible, though it's clear from how bouncy his tail is that he's at least a little excited. At least we're... At least we're far away from any other customers. I don't want anyone seeing me seeing me in whatever you picked out. I have a great fashion sense. I'm gay after... I'm a gay after all. It's kind of our thing. So are we. That doesn't mean anything here, idiot. Oh please, you two are like gay light compared to me. Or even Lee and Oscar. Those boys know how to rock what they got. Not that you two don't have your own style, too. I just think you should experiment more. Ari right, gives me a little wink as he sticks his tongue at it, Lucas. He only replies with a roll of his eyes and a sigh. Looks like he's finally just going with whatever Aura's planning. Just give me the clothes so we can be done with this. Alright, fine. I've got a bunch of different sets for the two of you to try. We'll go one at a time since doing both of you will take away from the show. That's just going to make this take longer. We're here to enjoy this too, Lulu. No need to treat this so formally. You don't get to go shopping, right? Not really. Only during Christmas with my parents. So, doesn't trying on stuff with friends sound a bit fun? Just a little? He meets my eyes for a moment before staring at the ground, picking at the carpet with his claws. Here he looks adorable, but the moment his ears begin to de deepen, it's sickeningly, sickeningly sweet. I guess. Then we'll start with you first. You're the more important one anyway, so I have a little more for you. Second like, y'all, it is water time. Oh dear lord, this is so good. Mm. 
Ara splits the piles into two different stacks, and while Lucas's is higher, it's very clear that mine has some very inspired color choices that I can only imagine what the actual outfit looks like. Uh, fine, don't expect me to act like one of your little models. I wouldn't dream of a deer. To prove a point, he offers the first pair of clothing with the most smug smile I've ever seen on a person. It's almost like he's playing into the cartoony stereotype musclets have for being conniving. With a huff, he yanks them out of Aura's and he yanks them out of Aura's and trots into the changing room. Thankfully, there's no way to peek into the stall, but it's clear from all his unbuttoning that it's going to take a while. On the bright side, at least his shirt won't need to be ironed after this. He's such a drama queen. Just pull it off. No need to undo every button. I can hear you. I know. That was a hint. What are you talking about? Don't worry about it. Ari gives an exasperated roll of his eyes and stifles a snicker. It's astonishing that he doesn't give drive Lucas up the wall with his antics. The two of them have an almost brotherly relationship that's endearing. I've been feeling a bit of a like a bit of a third wheel from their conversation, but I'm more than willing to just watch the two of them go at it. They're always entertaining. The ruffling suddenly stops when we're left in an eerie amount of silence, to the point where Ari looks confused and even a little worried. You okay in there, Lulu? Ari, what is this? Clothes? I'm not wearing this. Come on, just give it a shot. I bet you look really good in it. Even Wallace wants to see you, right? Ari shoots me the most intimidating look he can muster. I thought he'd seriously hurt me, but I don't want to find out. I think you'll look great. I'd love to see you try some different styles on. Ari shoots me a thumbs up, and the twinkle in his eye brightens to an ominous degree. Just what did he give him? He must have noticed my worries because he leans over and whispers into my ear. There's a hint of laughter on his breath, but it just sounds more amused and malicious, but... But could honestly go either way. Don't worry, it's nothing too bad. We're here to have some fun, and you're going to have fun too. Enjoy the show, and the eye candy. He might even consider it if you like it. He's such a puppy when it comes to you, it's adorable. We don't get a response from Lucas initially, leaving us in suspense until he finally lets out a sigh, and the shuffling continues. He's grumbling something, but it's too quiet to make out. Fine, this is so stupid. Aw, oh, don't be so shy. I'm not shy. I don't care if people can see my body. I care about how ridiculous this looks. Before the Martin can give another reply, the curtains to the changing rooms are whipped open and an almost unrecognizable fox walks out. If I didn't watch him enter it, I wouldn't have thought it was Lucas. He looks so different. The only indication is the same fox as his unique fur color and signature scowl. He isn't even wearing his glasses. Instead of his usual properly dressed self, he's wearing an outfit fitting for someone, for someone to wear to do a nightclub and a teen drama. Not even something I'd expect real clubbers to wear. Is clubbers a word? Calling what he's wearing a shirt is generous. It's barely a line of cloth that wraps around his chest, leaving the rest of his stomach, shoulders, and arms completely exposed. It's such a contrast to the slim black pants that are gripping tight to his waist and ass. Excuse me, I know he was slim, but now that he's wearing clothes that accentuate his figure, I can see that he's a lot slimmer than I thought. Oscar could easily wrap his hand around Lucas's torso. Lee might even be able to as well. I'm able to I'm easily able to see through see through his thighs with no issue. Might not have been so noticeable if the pants didn't have a golden emblem at the top, drawing the eyes to the waist and bringing attention all to, his, to all his features there. As if the whole look wasn't already overwhelming enough, he's wearing a little choker around his neck. It's also black, but also has a gold ring in, it, in the front, bringing the whole look together. It should make him appear significantly more feminine, but maybe it's because of his stern face or his demeanor, but more appears like a flamboyant guy than a girl. Despite my better judgment, I can't deny that he looks attractive. It's helped by a shocking amount of confidence. He's not covering up at all, and he doesn't even know it's shown any shyness on his face. One second, y'all. It is water time. And we're back. Rather, he just looks annoyed that he's having to wear this at all. It's not quite anger, and it feels more like it's out of embarrassment than anything else. This is ridiculous. You look amazing, Lulu. Seriously amazing. Aura flashes me a wink and mouths a wow to me. He looks just as stunned as I do, and it's understandable why. I don't think either of us knew what to expect when seeing him in a different outfit. You like it too, right? The Martin slides over to me and gives me a little shove in Lucas's direction, causing me to bump into him. Thankfully, it's a soft bounce and neither of us loses our footing, but it's enough for me to feel his exposed fur against me. We quickly put some distance between us, but I can see the burn on his face, and I know my own must be must be ablaze as well. I expected him to cuss out Aura for his question or inappropriate matchmaking behavior, but his eyes are just watching me, waiting for an answer. You, uh, look really good. Even though I look like some whore. Hey! You don't look like that. Not really. Sure, it's probably a little too revealing. Okay, it's very revealing, but it's fun to see you in other stuff. 
He just looks away and bites his lip. It's clear that his blush is becoming redder, but neither Aura nor I make any comment on it. I'm surprised you're so open with wearing it. I'd be covering up, probably. I'd be covering up, probably. That only causes him to raise his brow and look down at his clothes as if he's giving them a reevaluation. It's like his exposed fur didn't even cross his mind. I'm not really self-conscious about my body. I don't really care what people think about me. It's just me. Ooh, excuse me. Coming from the one who made such a big fuss about it, it's not the same thing. Barely. The growl comes from Lucas, and once again it sounds like they're arguing, but neither of them look upset. Ara is wearing a big smile, and the scowl on the fox's face is finally dying down. How do you feel about it? Besides how it makes you look. It's not my thing. I'd, I'd leave this kind of stuff to Ara, Lee, and you. Me? He's right. This isn't really... This isn't really his kind of thing, but I wanted to see him in it regardless. I know you'll slay that you'll slay that much more, Walter. Huh? Anyway, next outfit. I'm not able to get a response as Ari pushes Lucas back into the changing room once again, but not before stopping him for a quick photo. He's apparently going to take one for everything we wear. I've complained, but after I got a message from him showing Lucas looking spectacular, I come to the conclusion it's probably a fair trade. That feeling will probably end once it gets around to me. The rest of the fashion show went about as well as I expected. Lucas's outfits were shockingly more reserved after that, and there were even a couple he actually liked. One outfit in particular he did end up buying, though Ari still forced him to buy the initial outfit for kicks as well. When it came time for my turn, however, that was the that was best left to the imagination. I didn't know whether they were clothes were that small or how they were able to fit that many colors on them. I don't know what I don't know what was worse. Ari's eyes lit up like a predator stalking its prey, or Lucas looking starstruck whenever I came out in progressively more revealing outfits. Though, I did enjoy those elbow-length gloves. They were shockingly warm. Unlike Lucas, he only brought a few pairs. Ari's personally brought, brought all the ones he liked me in, and I had a feeling I'm going to be wearing them again sooner rather than later. I just hope it's in private. I don't think I could imagine Leah or Oscar seeing me in those, or God forbid Lily. I don't think I could look her in the eye afterward. But overall... More than anything else, it was fun. I had fun with my friends, and not because we were all together for a group project, but because we liked hanging out with each other. Don't get me wrong, I adore the others, but there's something more personal with just the three of us, even if I do enjoy their company more than Aura's. It's almost enough to forget about all the awful things that have happened lately. Even last night feels like a distant memory. Outside of the good parts, that is. With the clothes we decided on all... With the clothes we decided on all brought in, brought in bags, we were lucky the staff was willing to put the rest back on the shelves for us. I couldn't imagine having to wait for Ara to remember where everything was for where everything was from. This whole experience was surreal, but it was definitely fun. I wouldn't mind doing this again, though, with a little less of a fashion show next time. Second, y'all, it is Walter time. Well, soda time. I have Key Lime Jones Soda. It's so good. It's so good. Okay. It could be neat for Lucas and me to come back with just the two of us and find something more tame to try on, though it's tempting to try on something more revealing again. The thought of seeing Lucas's starstruck gaze again is enough to bring the heat back, the heat back, and my eyes flick over to the fox, who meets my eyes and looks away. I wonder if he was thinking the same thing I was. His ears are looking just as red as I imagined mine. You two are adorable. God, just kiss already, please. That comment causes Lucas to stiffen and his fur stands more on edge. He scrunches his eyes close, close, and the breath he takes is so deep that we're both able to hear it over the bustle of the mall. Oh, you're such a drama queen. I must think it's just the usual annoyed reaction from the fox, but I know it's about what we did the previous night. Looks like he still hung up on that. Well, since you're doing, you're going to be all pouty about it, I'm going to get some lunch since you two were so cruel and left me behind. We asked you if you wanted anything. I was getting you guys some clothes. I couldn't eat. So cruel. It's obvious that he's just putting on an act, but it must be going completely over Lucas's head because he looks he just looks flabbergasted. His ears are standing erect and his glasses nearly slide off his long nose. I'm kidding, Lulu. You two just walk around and have some fun. I'm going to get a little snack. Oh, all right. Thanks for convincing him to do this, Wallace. You two looked absolutely fierce. We have to do this again. I'd like that a lot, actually. Even if it was a little strange, I had a lot of fun. Only if you don't dress up like we're going out to a club. Oh. Only if you don't dress up like we're going out to a club. Or, oh, what if I actually take you to a club next time? That outfit would be more fitting, hmm? Could bring Lee and it would be like old times all over again. The Martin sticks his tongue out and doesn't even wait for an answer before he shimmies away, swaying his hips to the music blasting throughout the building. 
What a hassle. But we had a good time, right? We even got some new clothes. I can't believe Hara paid for mine. They must have been really expensive. He spends most of his money on clothes. It's not that surprising. You deserve that after what we went through. I didn't mind it. It was actually a little fun. After what happened on Thursday, I think I needed this. Thought... Though the thought that some of the more risque outfits are in my bag brings the heat back to my ears. The look on Lucas's face after the shock faded is tempting me to try them on again sometime. I know he brought one of the more... I know he brought one of the more uh, revealing ones he got Lucas to wear, too. I don't think we're going to wear them again, but there are going to be days when we find them and remember today. Despite all the embarrassment, I really did have fun, and most of the stuff he had me try on looked really nice on me. Lucas, Lucas looked even better than I did. Not that that's saying much. Ara really knows his stuff. So, what's next? I didn't have any plans. I was just going to go study. Oh, do you still want to do that? Alright, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks, or tip if you can, it always helps. And please, check out that Patreon, y'all. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.